I just wanted to take a quick break from uh, all the hard surface stuff, so I just thought um, I might use Zeb Modeler just to um, just to see what it was like, just to get a base mesh together um, for a sculpt or an organic sculpt. So I needed to sculpt this uh, this skull for another project I'm working on. So um, I just uh, recorded the undo buffer. Um, fortunately, I lost half the the actual sculpt. Um, I didn't have me undo so high enough but you can see there just um, a lot of people are, are probably falling out of their chair there disgusted at the fact that oh why don't you use dynamis shadow box da 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 but i just wanted to use zeb muller just to get a quick that base mesh took me no time to put together and i just turned it into a dynamish and just start sculpting and um, so this is you know halfway through the sculpt i did actually sculpt from the very end of the other uh, short clip there uh, the base mesh uh, that was the end of it just before I dynamished it and uh, just start sculpting straight on it and um, you know as I say yeah you could have they could have done it in shadow box or whatever grab the, the sphere the dynamesh sphere and just start pushing and pulling and clipping and everything but um, as a, with a lot of these videos I'm, I'm purposely using Zeb modeler because I just I want to see you know I just want to see how much you can fit it into workflow and you know where it's going to come in handy and um actually found it quite handy indeed um for this because it didn't take me long at all it didn't take me long at all you can get a lot of the forms in um pretty quickly and then obviously once you're into dynamesh then you start sculpting um it's no problem then you're you're on the pig's back as they say but uh yeah so that was um we was actually gonna make a kind of a tutorial about this but i didn't really think there was any point as there's, there's so many uh organic sculpting tutorials around like that um i didn't think there was any point there's a hell of a lot <laughs> better blokes than me out there you can be learning organic sculpting off but um yeah so i just thought it'd be uh, useful sort of an exercise as I say it was only a, it was a low poly speed sculpt the, the, the end sculpt was only half a million or something so um, for the asset I needed for the project I'm working on it's going to be getting decimated and you won't really be seeing a close up so um, I'd put it off for a while sculpting it and I've been doing all these tutorials so I just said uh, I might as well set aside an hour or whatever and just uh, and get it done so that is that.